Hello YouTube, it's Rob, Maxwell's Grass Cutting Services, uh, based in the northeast of England. I hope everybody's well and having a, a great day. Uh, as you can see from the title, the dumpy bag disaster. Now, not all business ideas are great, but we think they are, and some work and some don't. But you know, if they don't work, we move on to the next one. Don't beat ourselves up, do we? Well... This one, I could have beat myself up, I'll tell you. It was a few years ago, it was when I was first, it was my second winter coming into gardening. And you learn from the first winter that uh, mid-November, everything shuts down. You know, you, you get your, your gardening season, it comes to an end. You have a few hedges booked in, a few leaf clearance jobs, and then it just sort of stops, you know. Of the, it's like a, a somebody flicking a switch. So... All summer, you're trying to come up with ideas of how you can prolong your season. And I don't know whether I came up with this idea or whether I saw it on YouTube or I saw it on one of the Facebook uh, gardening forums. But for the benefit of this video, we'll just say that I had a moment of geniusness, if that's the word, when I was mowing my lawns during one summer. And I thought, you know what? This leaf clearance uh, carry on, it could make us a few quid. And what I thought was buy a load of dumpy bags and then drop them off at people's houses. They fill them with leaves. I'll collect them. I'll charge them a fee and I'll take them to the uh, waste disposal site and get rid of them ethically. And I'll make a few quid. So did a bit of thinking. I went on Facebook business page and uh, sorry facebook marketplace and there was a guy near hexham just up the road from me selling dumpy bags 250 a pop so i went up had a look and they were spot on um 250 each i bought 40 so i'm 100 quid to the red all right plus a bit of diesel and then went on uh, my facebook business page me google and uh, i started to put a few posts out saying don't be overrun by leaves this autumn let maxwell's take care of it uh, we'll drop a, a dumpy bag off i say we it's me royal we and uh, you fill it with the uh, leaves give us a call i'll collect it and make sure they're ethically disposed of now i'm very lucky where i live we've got a place called chesler street and there's a, a company there it's a private company where they make mulch and you can drop all your green waste off and they charge you 20 pound per load for a small van i've got a citroen bilingo and i can get about 14 dumpy bags in if they're not rammed um of leaves so i thought you know what if i get 10 that's 100 quid because i was charging 10 pound a dumpy bag for people to um, and in my own mind i had this picture of i drop them off at mr and mrs canny bodies you know in the 60s 70s they'd fill them up with leaves give me a ring i'd go and pick them up put them in the back of the van i'd do 10 in a day in a morning sorry 10 in the morning drop them down so that's 80 quid do another 10 in the afternoon so that's 160 quid yeah and i could keep going until the end of november now that was the plan the plan didn't work right first few went swimmingly there was a couple of bungalows with old people mature people and i dropped them off and they rang me a couple of days later and i took them put them in the back of the van and uh eventually it took two or three days to get the um the 10 so i thought well this is a long process i'm going to do it every winter and the more winters you do the more work you get etc but then we hit a bit of a wall I dropped one dumpy bag off at this lady's house, young lady, very attractive. And uh, she said, yes, my husband's gonna do the leaf clearance. Um, uh, can you pick it up on Monday? I said, I am. I said, just send me a text message when, when you're ready for it to be collected. Monday morning, morning comes, I get the text message. Well, can you come around, collect the dumpy bag? Um, and I don't get paid until I collect the dumpy bag. So I dropped the dumpy bag off. I want nothing from the customer, <laughs> mistake and then i pick it up and that's when i get me 10 pounds or they can do it by bank transfer cash what I, I don't mind well this dumpy bag my god i couldn't lift it off the ground he'd obviously been doing a bit of a garden clearance because i looked at his front garden and it was immaculate compared to when i dropped it off and i looked inside and it had soil 
it obviously de-turfed where you know you haven't weeded for a while and the, the grass overgrown and you take a couple of inches of the soil off the turf. He'd put that in, he'd put all his cuttings, he, he looked like he'd done a bit of the land eye trimming and I just couldn't lift it up. And I said to the lady, look, this isn't what it's all about. I says, it's leaves. And I did explain that. Yeah, my husband's picked it up. Husband comes out, is there a problem? I said, well, there is. I said, I've explained to your wife last week when I dropped it off that it's leaves and it's strictly leaves. I says, this ways. I said, I can't even lift it. He went, I'll give you a hand, I can lift it. I went, you're missing the point. I charged 10 pounds. I said, that there will weigh so much in my van. I said, it'll cost me three times that to dispose of it. Well, it's garden waste, what's the problem? And it started to get a little bit heated. In the end, I just walked away and left it. He went, where are you going? I said, look, I said, I don't want to get into her out. I says, but you've took a lend. I said, I said leaves, and it's got to be that the dumpy bag can be tied up. I explained this to your wife, and she said, he did. And I explained to him, and I thought, Christ, we're going to have a domestic here. So the dumpy bag must be able to tie the four corners, and I've got to have to lift it up and put it on the van. And it's got to be leaves. This isn't, this is Christ's soil and everything in there. Right, so I walked away. And it just went from bad to worse. You know, the next few I picked up, were, and anyway, I collected as many as I could, and I just got sick. Because people were just taking a the lend. They were sticking everything in there, everything apart from leaves. They were doing hedge work, filling it up. And in the end, it just wasn't profitable. Um, and I was a bit fed up with myself. So I just stopped doing it. And I did, I did question, I thought, that sounds such a good idea, but it just went horribly wrong because people's behavior and people just, they just don't listen, do they? Um, but the next spring, you know, we're raring to go and off we went and uh, I've still got all them dumpy bags at home. Uh, tucked away all stuffed into one in the back of the garage and I use them and then when they've got a few holes I bin them and there uh, but that was a lesson but what was the moral of the lesson sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't but we don't let myself get down about it now anybody who watches the channel knows that um, next year I'm gearing up to do um, lawn care the weed and feed treatment scarification and uh, I'm, I'm, that's the way I'm taking my business as well as doing the grass cutting and the garden maintenance. So I've been doing loads of research, buying a few bits and pieces, equipment, etc. A few spreaders, um, a few drop uh, spread, there's a, the Scott spreader and then the drop feeder. And then there's a couple of hand spreaders I've, I've bought. I've been looking at um, the weed and feed products that a well-known national franchise use and uh, I've priced that and I've got a supplier and then I went on their website this uh, national franchise um, and they've got a facility where you can put in uh, the size of a loan and they'll give you a price to uh, carry out the weed and feed treatments and they do five a year my god they're expensive aren't they and I tell you what I thought I'm far too cheap and then they do a, uh, there's a page where you can put in your postcode and your size of the lawn and they'll give you a quote to scarify it. They call it a lawn transformation. They scarify it, they aerate it, they put some seed down, a little bit of top dressing, a bit of fertilizer, and then give it a water and off they go. Now, quiz question for you. 150 square meter garden how much do you think this national company charge to do what i've just said put in the comments i nearly fell off my seat when i seen how much they were charging but it gives you that confidence that you can charge you know a decent day's work and you'll still be not undercutting but you'll be given a lot better value than some of the national companies out there so uh, that's where we're at with the uh, the treatment side 
Okay, so let me know. Have you had any disasters? Have you had any business ideas to try and bring in winter work or try and boost your summer work and it just hasn't uh, materialised and you've lost a few quid? But what we do is we smile, we bite down on my gum shield and we move forward. The previous video I did had loads of comments, hundreds and hundreds of supportive, kind messages. Thank you. Line in the sand. That's the past. This is the future. We're not going to be negative on this channel. We're not going to dwell. We're just going to move forward, okay? So that's me for today. I'm off home now. Thank you very much for watching. Remember, when the green gold's growing, keep mowing. And it's still growing in the northeast. Not for much longer, but it's still growing. Take care now. All the best.